Hi, I'm Bridget and Delicato, and welcome to Mindful Gardening and the Potato Diaries, my adventures of growing potatoes from True Potato Seeds, or TPS. Join me in its third installment, where I show you how to harvest potatoes. Each spring, I start seeds indoors under grow lights for plants that have a longer growing season and need time to mature so that I can get the most harvest. This includes nightshade plants like tomatoes, peppers, and potatoes. Last season, I collected seeds from potato berries that grew on potatoes I grew from tubers. I grew two varieties, uh, River John Blue, which is a deep purple flesh with a dense texture, and French fingerling, which has a nice pink hue and has a creamier texture. Now the neat thing about growing from TPS is I won't get clones growing them from TPS, but rather a variation. So I might find some interesting things underground. I grew about 20 seedlings and did collect some potatoes through the season as plants died back. I highly suggest that you watch the Potato Diaries playlist and follow along on how I grow plant and hill potatoes. These potato plants were planted in late spring and it's now the end of October and time to harvest. Here in Innisfil we've had some pretty chilly nights. I was minus eight degrees Celsius last evening, minus seven the night before, so these plants have actually died back mostly. As you'll see, typically you're looking for your potato plants to die back and dry and brown like this one. Now, interestingly enough, these were quite green and lush even at the beginning of this week. My experience growing from tubers is they would have died back much sooner. So this is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if it's because they're grown from TPS, but that's something I'm gonna investigate. Now, the reason you want them to die back is it toughens the potato skin below the soil line and gives you a longer storage life for your potatoes. But again, we've died back because of the frost, we're expecting snow, so it's time to harvest even though some of these plants are still green. The first thing I'm going to do is snip back the foliage with my hand pruners. Just makes it easier when we're digging. And something I've noticed as well, as I'm digging up here, is that for example, this was one potato plant, but all these little offshoots happened as well. And I've read in my research that with TPS, you'll tend to have sort of offshoots as opposed to just one plant coming up from that tuber. So that's kind of neat. So hopefully there's more potatoes under there. And I've also tied on where I was able to uh, harvest some potato berries. Unfortunately, I only found two uh, this season. But I'm just going to stick that back on this to see what color potato I get under there. Now I'm going to take my rake and clean up as well. And the top layer is frozen. We had a frosty night. Hello, Carter. And there we go. Now I can see where I'll be digging. So now I'm ready to dig. I've got my garden fork here. And I'm just going to start digging carefully. You don't want to pierce the potatoes. And if you do, try not to store them. Now the ground is a little frozen, as I mentioned, so I'm just going to loosen. <laughs> like a little hat. Oh, 
Oh, it smells good too. So here's one of my little pinky ones. Oh, whoa. How about that? Look at that. So those were originally from the French fingerling, the pinkish ones. And they were only about yay big when I grew them uh, from tubers. So as I mentioned with TPS, you get sort of a, a unique variety. They're not gonna be clones. So I've got these sort of little round ones and this pretty giant one. So that's pretty cool. There's another nice, nice one. We've also had dry weather the past few days, which is good. Makes digging a little, a little nicer. So again, I had marked this one because I did save a berry from it. So that, I will make a mental note, was one of the pink ones. Check that out. Woo! That's pretty cool. How much of a fingerling is it? Someone did joke it's maybe a footling. Another purple. Sorry, Ned. I know we've got a lot going on with Carl chasing you, but I'm going to have to move you. <laughs> there you go. I'm really happy with my harvest so far. I'm about halfway done, and I'll definitely be growing potatoes with true potato seeds in the future. Thanks so much for following along with the Potato Diaries. I really do recommend you watch the playlist and be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.